Well, good morning everybody and welcome to another gameplay by yours truly, Super BWB. In this one I'm going to be playing a little something called The Intruder. Now this is not a creepypasta game, it's just, it just looks really good. I saw uh, this username called Market Player play a, couple, play a little bit of it and I wanted to try it for myself. Um, I have, I have, I have played this a little bit with my friend Kujo062 from one. Subscribe to him if you haven't. And okay, we kind of screwed up on one part. It was taking way too long. The recording ended with like 40 freaking minutes. So I know that's going to that's gonna take one hell of a long time for him to edit and dumb it down. So he doesn't have the podcast, all that shit. And so I'm going to decide to give it a shot by myself. No offense to him or anybody else. And so I have the website up right now. And so I have Camtasia up as we're recording as we speak. And so let me get myself comfortable. Just the camera a little bit. Have the volume not all the way up. Therefore it won't destroy the camera. And so let us begin. Before you... I already know how to play so I'll just, just go ahead into it. Here's the introduction right here. Dude gets a phone call. Here we have the intruder. Notice that the eye is shaped like the actual intruder. Help your friends and don't make the sound. getting out of the car. Now I don't remember much of this, so excuse me if my memory is a little bit off. And if I do get stuck somewhere, I will count, well, I won't stop the recording, but I'm just going to do a little jump cut to actually get to the good part. Just give you a heads up. And you see here we have three lives, you know, which is, as it is with Zelda, as we start off. It's a point and click kind of game. And what is that? You're at the front of the house. It's still raining hard. Better get inside quickly. So let's go ahead and go to the front door. There doesn't seem to be any lights on on the inside. You can see the door is slightly ajar. Well, let's go in. Uh oh. The intruder knows you're here. Time to think fast. Oh shit. Oh, okay. Let's stand and fight. Hide in the next room. How did he get in the house? Did he break the window or something? The intruder is still close by. It's too dark and dangerous to carry on from here. Yeah, so I guess we have to go back outside. Return to the street. Maybe there's another way to get into the house. There's a driveway that leads to the back of the house. I think we're supposed to go back here. Go into the backyard. <coughs> Excuse me. Proceed back here in the garage. It might be worth a look. Yard. Well, the door's on lock. It's only now we're here in the garage. I don't like the, I don't like the game of like this. I mean, this is the actual storyline here. It's not like all the, other, all the other games I play, where it's hardly a plot at all. I mean, it's, it's, it's flowing, it's flowing fluently. Is what I'm trying to say. But I'm just gonna hold off on my final thought until the end of this video. Box. It's mostly junk in here, but it could be something worth collecting. There's a piece of junk. We have a radio. A piece of junk. Uh, let's see. Battery. Another battery. You're taking a minute. There's nothing worth having here. Okay, so we collected two batteries. Cool. Let's continue on the back porch. Let's see to the back door. Okay. This back door is unlocked. A flashlight with both batteries flat. You take a flashlight. This this seems to be a safer place to enter the house. So let's go to the back door. And now we have a flashlight. Oh shit! Fuck 
you can. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fuck you, cat. Jesus Christ. Alright, let's go to the bathroom. Not much to do here except, well, you know. Is there anything on here in the bathroom that we can, that we can get? Uh, you can use the toilet if you wish, otherwise turn around and get out. We can, we can actually, we can use the bathroom? Wow. Uh, Jesus, uh, I don't know. Are you sure I need to go now? Uh, yeah, I just got the shit scare out of me. I really think I need to use the bathroom. <laughs> oh, you jerk! <laughs> I, I got shaked while I was using the bathroom. I guess there's no such thing as privacy in this game. Oh, God. Let's do the laundry. We can turn around and go back to the bathroom. Hmm? Oh, crap. The intruder knows you're here. I'm trying to think fast. Up. Uh, back bathroom. Beyond. Yeah, like that. I can't believe that actually worked. This is where Scott and Sarah keep their cat. Looks like he's been in the garbage bag. No, don't tell me that doesn't look like a face. That looks like a face. <laughs> the garbage is spilled all over the floor. The laundry is the cat's domain. He's been attacking the garbage and split and spilled some stuff on the floor. They say curiosity killed the cat, but it won't harm you to take a close to look closer here. Look closer to what? Can of kitty bits. A piece of paper with something written on it. There's a pen now in front of something, but the last two numbers are smudged. I kinda already know the password. I think. I don't want to hurt to go back, but again. Maybe can't open this. Ah! No, this is this is one kind of part that we kind of screwed up on. I think I was supposed to find. <clears throat> I was supposed to find a knife or a scalp or something. I I don't know where it is. Nothing. Maybe back into the path this way. It's least to the kitchen. <coughs> Excuse me. Of course, yes, this is the kitchen. A calendar. Uh I'm sorry, I was just trying to look for the knife. Because that's where, uh, a bit of a spoiler, that's where me and, and Kuja kind of screwed up because we couldn't find a knife anywhere. I thought you were supposed to find it before you... Never mind. Let me stop right there. That's spoiler enough as it is. The counter has something marked on it. Happy Halloween. Maybe one of these days is significant. It looks like Sarah just had her birthday. Ah, I was right. It's 1020. That's the password. Don't tell me he's right behind me. The kitchen is worth a closer inspection. Look for a ha look for a handy object and take a closer look at something cool. What? This is the kitchen. Uh, what do you expect me to find in here? We already looked at the calendar. Aha! I found a knife! Cool. Uh oh. The intruder is in the lounge with his back to you. Uh oh. Let's not go there and get stabbed and get shanked again. The pantry leads down to the cellar. Is there anything I've used in here? Cellar door. 
go here. <clears throat> the cell door is locked with a combination padlock. Oh, you suck. Fine. Do it your way. Enter a four-digit combination and click the, the padlock to open. There we go. Down into the shadow. Oh, yeah, that's a good place to go. Down into the darkness. Not much down here except for a few dusty bottles and a fuse box. Looks like the storm knocked the power out. Click to return power to the house. What the hell? Who turned on the lights? You have restored power to the house. You no longer need your flashlight. Cool. Let's turn around. And let us exit. The stairs that lead out of the pantry. Down to the passage. Dining room. Hmm. Ahead of you is the lounge room, and to your left you can access the hallway. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. What's in the lounge? What? The TV cabinet. Do you want to watch something? I'm not. I haven't did this before. I don't think. Watch TV. What? I'm gonna watch TV. Oh, okay, sure. Not. <laughs> well, fine. I won't watch TV. I'll go to the corner and take a time out. Jeez. This guy is a jerk. I can't even watch TV. I can't even go to the bathroom. And that just pops out and just shoo! Uh 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 You know what? Screw you! Fine. Okay, this is guy in Sarah's bedroom. I think she said she locked herself in the bedroom, so this one's locked. It's in the office. Oh crap, the phone is ringing. The intruder's coming. Time to think fast. Oh, run outside. I'm gonna hide under the desk. Don't look under the desk. Don't look under the desk, please. Yeah, that's right. Turn around and leave. Oh no, poor Scott. It looks like the intruder got to him first. But a look of it, the intruder got him from behind and cut his throat. I guess in slitting throats, it's quite common nowadays. Wow. The desk. Let's take a closer look. The computer's on standby. It looks like Scott was working on something when he was killed. This is just an ordinary pen. A cup of coffee is still warm. <laughs> the cell phone has one new message. Don't click the computer. Do not click the computer. Just don't. It's your message from Sarah. I click the screen to read the message. <clears throat> the message says, Are you okay? Lock myself in my bedroom. Get the other gun from the office drawer and protect yourself. I love you. From Sarah. We're going to be so nosy. We're going to be reading all these messages. I might do a little junk cut here. I don't know. It depends on how fast I can read these messages. And we're going on 13 minutes here. 14 minutes. So, yeah. That's all for mom and dad. Dinner at our place tonight. Bring a nice wine. Love, mom. Okay. Sarah's phone. I'll pick the kids up tonight. It's from Josh. Scott, can't find the connect file. Do you know where it is? Sure, he could tell you, but he would have to kill you. Well, he's already dead. Well, you just saved yourself. That's not worth reading. Top Mobile. Hey, I'm in town for a few days. We should catch up. I haven't seen the kids for a while. Call me. It's from Sarah. I'll be home late tonight. We'll get takeout. <laughs> Hi, honey. Your folks have offered to have the kids over on ha have the kids over Halloween at night tour by ourselves. Can't. Oh, wow. I had a feeling this is going to happen. <clears throat> well. 
I shouldn't say it was going to happen. I should have known that that kind of message was going to be in this phone. It's from Pete. Is it the same character from Disney? Fancy watching the game tonight? Nope. <laughs> nope. Mom and Dad. Scott, kids are right here safe and sound. We'll drop them back to you on Saturday evening. And this is on Halloween? Oh dear. Remember, don't click the computer. Please don't click the computer. I'm not clicking the computer. A drawer. It's locked. Maybe you could prize it open. Good thinking. That can work. <clears throat> Alright. Open it and... You found Scott's gun. The gun is not loaded. Alright, we've taken the gun. Lots full of bullets. And empty lots of blanks. Bullets for Scott's gun. Click gun at any time to arm yourself. We've taken the bullets. We are armed and dangerous. There's nothing worth having here. Now let us go back. <clears throat> Alright. Now what? Let's go to the night. Oh no. Okay, now what? <clears throat> All the continues down to the right. Uh oh, the intruder is lying awake. You are vulnerable without heavy artillery. Continue at your own risk. Did I just die? I shot him like 14 times. You're taking a hit, but you're okay. The intruder is wounded and has let you forget. I shot this nigga like 14 times all over the body. The arms, the chest, the face. Ugh. Your shooting arm is a little weak, but you must end this now. One last shot to the head will do it. You met. Oh, jeez. You mashed the wound in the intruder, but only a clean shot in the head will finish him off. Where is he? The trailer bot leads to the children's bedroom. Oh god! Whew! Shot him. The intruder is dead. Hooray! Now what? We've taken the key. Alright. What is this key used for? It's not the Sarah's bedroom. It's locked. There's no good trying to force it. You need a key. The door is now open. Stay where you are. Uh-oh. Did I die? Sarah's gun was loaded with blanks. Remember the empty box in the office drawer? You both came out of this unharmed. <sighs> nice. What happens now?
Okay. Final thought time. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just enjoying the music. Okay, final thoughts. Um, the storyline was the storyline was good. At least, at least I think there was one. The storyline was good. Some girl calls you up and said, "There's an intruder in my house. There's a man in my house. So, uh, can you come help me?" I got up. We have to point and click and stuff. I'm sorry, I'm just really digging that music. It's point and click and stuff, and it's really, it's a really enjoyable game in my opinion. And if you haven't already, I if I do come check this out and see for yourself. This game is good. Good, like good graphics. Uh, you have to think on your feet and stuff like that. You know, some of the stuff will work may or may not work either way, but I enjoy, I enjoy playing this, <coughs> and considering it's almost close to Halloween, a month away, hey, who knows, well, if there's any other scary games out there, I might give it a shot, I still need to play Ib, I wouldn't mind wanting to play that, and so that's kind of on my, on my list. So, thank you everybody for watching this gameplay of Intruder, and tune in next time for more videos by this guy. This has been SuperBWB, and I bid you a good day. Happy Halloween!